humble yourself with a word of prayer. May you humble yourself with a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life and we thank you for guiding us throughout the song. We thank that you give us the wisdom and knowledge that we can understand all the truth that we speak to us especially. And oh, Lord, we thank you for giving us the strength and everything that can work up early. And also, and also, we thank you for all that just who have been teaching us in Zoom. And we try to understand all the way to teach us in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Nanyans. You're welcome, teacher. Okay. Mr. Sari and Mr. Senjove and the entire team. Yes. Sir. We sometimes have a, a, an alien student who comes in here and impersonates people and he ends up <laughs> using a very unacceptable uh, language. I think today is try to be on the lookout. Yes. Okay. First time you use Mr. Sari's name, last time you use Mr. Senjove's name. I don't know whose name we will use next, but today we'll just try to big, big lunch. <laughs> you are in the queue. <laughs> you will become Richard. I tell you. Okay. I won't mind using my name, but the panel language that he uses is really unacceptable. Hmm? And it may be a brother to us, please. Oh, sister, girls. Please, if it's you know this possible. person, really. Because I believe he's a person connected to one of us. So whoever has a relative who is unruly, please control that person. <laughs> mm. I suspect somebody, uh, some one of these girls gives the login yeah, to yeah. that person, and then yeah. he has a, doctor, a, a device somewhere and then continues to really behave like that. So that somebody must be on the lookout. Sunny got it for sure. Mm. Okay, let us take off, I think. There is Musmenta. Musmenta, I don't see your full name. Musmenta, can you unmute? Girls, when you send one, Mr. Sanjove. Yes. When the girls send one, like their names name appear in the second term, they should alert us very fast. Because that person can also rename using one of the girls' names. Eh? Yes, please. The girl should also be on the alert such that. In, in case of uh, in case they see their names renamed, they tell us immediately. Okay, so I was uh, looking at Musmenta Kiremire. Can you unmute, please? Okay, so you can call somebody who has just come in, and then the, that person runs away. Okay, someone. They, I think someone already can put up their hand and. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick these girls at random. There's a purpose. Mr. Musmenta Kirimere, is she around? Okay. That one is the... Uh-huh. Musmenta. Okay. We leave Musmenta. Mr. Sari, I wanted the uh, girl, so girls to remind us about the three states of matter. We can start from there. There are four states of matter in active states. Do we pick some, like these ones who never put up their hands today? <laughs> you pick these ones who are, who are active. We are, we, we, are, we, we are saving time at the same time. Okay, mm. okay we'll start with uh, Narule. Narule Lukia. Uh, Narule Lukia and Mutant. And um, plasma state. Plasma state. I've seen a new name here, Elsa Janet Kirabo. Janet Kirabo. Kirabo, unmute and tell us one other state. Solid state. Good. Uh, which other name don't we see so often? J. Mary Wandawa. Eh? Unmute and submit. Um, the, the gas state. Which state? The gas state. Or gas state. What state? Gas state. Okay, gas state. Those are three. Mm -hmm. Which other one really puts up their hand? Mm. This. Uh, Roman Acacia puts up her hand. 
Fish, I think I heard fish. Fish. Okay. Let's now go to top star and meet and submit. Plasma state. The plasma has been stated. That was the first. Then they stated the gaseous state. Uh huh. There are two others. Abbas, uh, Joel. Unmute and submit. Liquid state. The liquid state. Liquid, st liquid state. Uh huh. Then the other one. Okay, we can uh, see here someone. Kwagala, Kwagala, unmute and submit. Um, solid state. Solid state. Uh, can we talk about the properties or characteristics of a solid state? Characteristics of a solid state. Characteristics of a solid state. Okay. Barbara, 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 unmute and submit. It has a definite shape. Definite shape. Mm -hmm. Another one. Okay, we can uh, have a twin ecstasy and meet and submit. Um, they have a constant volume. Constant volume, constant fixed volume. Okay. Are there any? I think we'd rather say fixed volume. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, then the, uh, I think those were the only two we discussed. I don't remember. I don't know, Mr. Sari. Do you have any other more? Any more? Any more characteristics that you can mention about solids? Okay, we can have someone here, Vivian, Sandra, and Newton submit. Um, their particles are held together by strong forces. Okay, particles are held together by very strong forces. Then any other? Okay, Namulinde, Namulinda, Namu, Namu Elizabeth. Namu, Namulinda, unmute and submit. Elizabeth. Or someone moves it. Hmm? Mm. Elizabeth, we didn't get your submission. Unmute and submit. I think she's reading from the textbook that you can move it. <laughs> Isn't that what she's saying? Yes, that's what I heard. Yes, I see. That is not a characteristic. Okay. They can move it and be moved. That is not a characteristic, though true, but it's not a characteristic. Okay, we have captured those three. Can somebody uh, capture those for a gas, for a liquid? Let us start with a liquid. Let us go to the next level, the second state, quickly. But this person is going to name all the four. All the four. Yeah, for a liquid, she should give us as many as she can, and then we we'll move on. Okay, uh, we have your Daniela, so try unmute and submit. Its volume stays the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. Um, it takes the shape of a container. True. It can flow. Very good. Why does it flow? Can you give me the reason why it is, does not flow when you compare it to a characteristic, a property that was said about solids? About forces, okay. Daniela is still there. I can't go right now. Eh? I can't recall right now, but I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay. So who remembers that? Captain Mr. Sari, pass on the button. Mm -hmm. Captain Agress. Yes, um, I want to just make an announcement. 
just want to request the girls to all indicate their streams because I see some without streams. Let them indicate their streams for proper, ident proper identification. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll continue quickly, please. Yes, Grace. The, the liquids can so because they don't have very strong forces between their molecules. Very good. Uh -huh. Next. Uh, any other that I was that mentioned, Grace? Any other characteristic of liquid state? Um, I can't recall um, very well. Let's say uh, we can move to gases. Okay, gases, someone. Select gas. one person. She gives us all about gases. Okay, um, Gabriela, Gabriela, unmute and give us all the characteristics of gases. Um, gases can flow. Um, they spread out as fast as they can, the particles in gases. Mm -hmm. And they can also change their shape. Mm -hmm. And the volume changes when it spreads out. You don't have a fixed volume. Okay, I think you have indirectly mentioned all the characteristics of gases. Uh, plasma. Okay, someone to give us the characteristics of a plasma, Kahunga Charity, and Meet and Submit. Charity, are you there? Charity, maybe we, are, we pass on the back to another person. Uh, teacher, plasma okay, is trouble. present. Plasma is present in very high temperatures. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, it, its molecules are iodized. Uh -huh. Yeah, those are the Does it have shape? No, it doesn't. Characteristics of plasma are very close to characteristics of, of a gas, except that the addition is that it has its molecules are ionized. Is that okay? The characteristics of plasma are almost close to those of a gas, but it has ionized molecules. I think that's because we said it is the highest state after gases, isn't it? Okay, uh, let us go to our notes very briefly. I think we are now going to go through the notes very quickly because when we go through the notes, we are going to be looking at those characteristics because we did not complete them last time. But I think now we are in position to complete them. Um, putting down. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mr. Sanjavi. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Hello? Mr. Sanjavi, it's okay. No problem. Okay. No problem, sir. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So girls, quickly, I think we, were, we, we left off when we were supposed to be discussing a gas, okay? So Mr. Sally, select for us uh, one person to, to read for us those notes. I hope they are clear on the screen. Okay, uh, someone who has been having their hand up, Padeke Faith, may you take her through the notes, unmute. A gas. Have you ever smelled the flavor of the food when it is being prepared in the kitchen? What if one opens a bottle of perfume from one corner of the room? Can Alana in another corner smell the perfume? This is what happens. If someone is cooking in the kitchen, it doesn't take long for the smell to travel around the house to other rooms. Gas particles from car exhaust fumes, perfumes or flowers move through the atmosphere. That particles in gaseous form move through air in, from food. 
or from food or let me see. Yeah. They move from food or any other small thing that has smell. This movement is called diffusion. Gas has the following properties. It can flow. It will spread out as far as it can. It will change its shape. Its volume will change when it spreads out. Did you know that liquids and gases are referred to as fluids because they both can flow? Should I stop there? Continue. Of Continue. recent, yes. Of recent, yes. another set of matter has been discovered. This set of matter is called plasma. Plasmas are a lot more like gases, but the atoms are different because they are made up of free electrons and ions of an element such as neon. You do not find naturally occurring plasmas so often when you walk around. They aren't things that happen regularly on Earth. While natural plasmas aren't found around you that often, human, go to the next page. Human made plasmas are everywhere. You encounter them every day, but you may not recognize them. Figure 3.3 .3 shows some examples of the forms of plasma, stars, including the sun and lightning. Should I stop there? I think we should stop there. So oh, maybe uh, we finish off plasma, please. Finish off. Plasma has plasma has these properties. Can you finish off that? Can you unmute the lady, Mr. Sari? Okay. If you okay. want to read that last part about plasma. Okay, let's have a look. So Cynthia and me can take us through that. Um, teacher, which one? Yeah, you are shaming me. Plasma has three properties. Uh huh. Has these properties. After the diagrams, this one we talk about plasma. Yes. Uh huh. Plasma yes, is ionized gas. Mm -hmm. Plasma is a very good conductor of electricity and is affected by magnetic fields. Plasmas, like gases, have an indefinite shape and an indefinite volume. So it does not have a fixed shape. It doesn't have a fixed volume. All the properties of gases are almost a... Uh, expressed by plasma, except that we add that top one, plasma is ionized gas, and because of its ionized gas, oh, it is like gas which has charges, it can therefore become a good conductor of electricity and can be affected by what we refer to as magnetic fields. These things we shall discuss them later. But then let me ask you some people, do you know of any uses of plasma? Have you heard anything about plasma? Sasanjo. Yes, Sebo. There's also a question in the chat. Yes. That will give some examples of plasma in real life. Uh -huh. It is exactly what I'm asking. I think we can answer that. Plasma, people, you have seen it is a good conductor of electricity. And I believe some people have some gadgets related to plasma. Can they tell me one? Anybody who has heard about that word plasma? No one. Okay, maybe we can, let's choose someone. Uh huh. Yeah, let's grab their hands up. Mami Sari. Yes, Mom Chakon. I think let us encourage these girls, those who have put up their mm. hands at some point after mm. the, the, the question has been answered, to put them down because their hands that are permanently up there. So you might okay. not know whether they, they respond to a recent question or something. Okay, now we taka and you can submit. So the next television. Good. Plasma television, is that okay? 
I think most of you have heard about plasma television, haven't you? Any other anybody person who has, has anybody who has uh, who, who knows the word LCD? What does it mean? LCD. Deborah, or, 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 anybody who has heard about the the word LCD? Okay, Masi. If I break it down, this is where we have a challenge, girls. We don't read these things. We tend, don't, but these gadgets do exist. They are uh, gadgets that have that word LCD. Okay, let me break it down. Liquid crystal display. Teacher. Yes. Um, among the like the plus things i think plasma lamps plasma lamps okay may i know plasma being mostly used in electronic gadgets your screen these touch screens you know your touch screens the, the, the phones and so on you just touch and you get responses isn't it girls isn't it they are muted, maybe. You, 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 we are just trying to give them an example. The touch screens, now they have come into TV. It is a very, very big improvement in the digital world. The screens that we use in our laptops, the screens you use in your computer systems and so on, all those use a little bit of that plasma. That's why you heard about plasma screens. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so that's where that, uh, because it is like a new discovery, it is not a very old science, but it is mostly used in electrical gadgets. For me, that's where I know it. In your phones, touch screens, ETC, those uh, basically display systems. Yes, thank you. I don't know whether Mr. Siakone can add us and give yes, us some more uses. One is stable. I think the previous video also just read it to us that the yes. sun is also an yes. example of plasma. And exactly. they know that without the sun, life practical on Earth would not exist. So I think that's one biggest example of plasma that they should start off with. Uh, okay. A very big use because without that one, life practical would not exist here on Earth. Okay. That is the, I hope you have observed that. Okay, so that's where, and unfortunately, we don't go deep into that, that usage, but that is your plasma for you. Okay, I think we can now move on to the arrangement of particles, Mr. Chakon. Girls, if you don't have a question, you may lower if your you hand. If you don't have questions, you want to move on. Because we have looked at the three states of matter, we have looked at their behavior, and now we are looking at their arrangement of particles. Lukia seems to have a question. The, the others have lowered their hands. Lukia, unmute and submit. Um, teacher, on plasma state, you talked about that plasma is a is a good is a very good conduct of re, of electricity and is affected by the magnetic fields. Can you please explain about the magnetic field and how it affects plasma state? Oh, Mr. Chakod. Yes, Mr. Sanjay. Is that level required? Um, I think that is a little bit beyond, but they know something about magnetic fields because in the primary, they, mm. they have learned magnetism and they, they, they know how to sketch the magnetic field of a bar magnet. So, mm. but we will not go there for sure because um, it is, let, let, let's wait for, for the right level. Let's wait for the right level. So anyway, we could just say that the particles can be moved, they can move towards, magnetic field can make the particles or this plasma to move in the particular directions and the consequences are uh, being used there for those gadgets that you mentioned. But uh, about the effects of magnetic field and what have you, I think we better share that for now and bring it in at a point. At a point when where it is magnetism it? has been captured. Uh, which magnetism has, has been captured and the behavior. There are some laws there which are not, we are not ready to go into girls. They exactly. are at a slightly beyond mm. us, okay? All we know is that whenever you put anything that around anything electrical near a magnet, there is some expected behavior. Okay, especially we build forces. That's what happens. 
we build forces. Remember, man is after finding forms of energy. So when you discover that this magnetic fields affect the electric fields, then you can get energy out of that system. And I hope you know what energy is used. Before energy is used, is ability to do work. Mr. Chakon. That's the best I can do for you at this moment. Yes? Uh, there's also a question in the chat. Is moon also uh, plasma? No. Moon is just a moon is not plasma because it receives light. It is a recipient. It is more like an earth. The moon is like us. It is a recipient of energy from other forms of sources, especially the sun. Just, just reflecting. Mm. It just reflects no light. So, yeah. yeah. Queen Esther, I believe you've been answered. Okay. Can we move to the arrangement of particles in the different states of matter if the questions are, are, are done? There is a beta, beta Sally. Beta yes. Sally has raised her hand. Okay. Yes, unmute and submit, Sally. Patricia, you said the moon isn't a plasma, but is moonlight a plasma because it gets it from the sun? It reflects it. Just like, you know, we happen to be on the earth and is therefore we receive light from the different stars. We see them glittering. But if we happen to be also taken off the earth, we will also see the earth as a star somewhere because it is a recipient of light from the sun. Yes, teacher, but my question is moonlight. Is moonlight a plasma? The one we get from the moon, the one that the moon reflects, is it a plasma? No. So it loses its value? It loses its value? Like moon, the moon reflects light from the sun. So is that light yes. still a plasma? Yes. And, uh, no. When you when you are, you bring out light, light itself does not mean that it is light is a form of energy. That's I think what we discovered. Yes. So plasma produces that. Those are some of the productions of plasma because light we say plasma is ionized gas. Now we are going into details, Mr. Chiakoni. I don't know how to explain that. I think no, let's not say that now, light is light I'm not sure. say Some of the products are light. I think there is a production of light, there is production of heat, and so on and so forth. Those are, pro are byproducts of what happens when something is ionized. Yes, okay. Mr. Sanjabe. Yeah, let us say the students understand that uh, ionized gases are particles, they are things that are tangible, but light yeah. is a wave, it's an electromagnetic wave which you cannot touch. So there is yes. no you can say that light is a, is a plasma, because plasma, these are states of matter, which means the matter is something that can be touched. Gases are particles, though they are very tiny, but they can be touched, so that even the ions coming from them can be touched. But uh, light is not tangible, you can't touch light. Because it's not a particle, it's just a web. So we cannot say that the light is really plasma, no. Okay. I hope that Thank makes you. it better. Yes, yes, it does. Thank because you. Because that, that implies that we are misunderstanding plasma to be a form of light. I think because of the existence of fire. <laughs> okay. Those are some of the misconceptions we get, but the states of matter should not be uh, considered to be light. Is that okay? Okay, can we go to the arrangement of the particles if the questions are done? There are some too. Yes, I see two participants having raised their hands. Katongole and unmute and submit. Sorry, I left my hand up because I wanted to answer Beata's question. Oh. Hey. So what is your response? Let's give you an response. And I wanted to tell her that that um, the moon is a reflection of the sunlight and that light is not a state of matter, it's actually made out of particles, um, atoms named protons. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you so much. Another contribution, uh, there was another hand, or the other hand has gone down. Charity, uh, charity, unmute and submit. Excuse me, teacher, I wanted to ask you to please repeat the importance of plasma. Oh, we cited only one importance that is, that is very evident in most of our cases. For us, we are aware of the touch screens. Touch screens are evident. Okay, most screens, there are screens that are called plasma screens. I don't think, I don't know that you have ever heard about plasma screens. We have also said that plasma is very much present in fires, heat sources. And somebody talked about plasma lights. I think you heard about that. We talked about the sun itself because it is ionized gas. So those plasma, uh, that plasma state has a tendency of producing a lot of light. You have seen it is associated with light. There is lightning in your picture, isn't it? And stars and so on. Those kind of glittering objects, naturally glittering objects. Out together, girl. I hope you are fine. I did not get your name, sorry. But I hope we have tried to answer the uses. Okay, there is uh, Queen Esther, unmute mm -hmm. and submit. Queen Esther. Okay, she's not responding. Okay, she's yeah. coming. Teacher, since fire is plasma, is it a conductor of electricity? Fire. Yes. Fire, fire, fire does not conduct electricity. <laughs> okay. Actually, I let me put it this way. I've never seen fire being used to conduct electricity. Maybe it is, but burning fire, you start conducting electricity. I don't understand, I don't get the idea of fire conducting electricity. Is that okay? So I cannot put it as a fire as a conductor of electricity. By the time I make fire conductor, I may have got burnt. So I don't, I cannot list my the fire as being a conductor of electricity. Much as it contains some ions. Is that okay? Okay. Crown, crown, raise the hand. S one T crown. Award yes. DU, award four crown. Okay. Crown unmute. I forgot. I was going to give the uh, examples of plasma, but uh -huh. I forgot. To... Okay, you can maybe add another example. Let us give you opportunity. Okay, Florence. We all learn from each other, huh? And neon time. And what? Neon time. Neon? Hey, very good, time. very good. Thank you so much. Neon lights. She has given a very good example, girls, and it was in our notes. Is that okay? Neon as a gas is used as you. You know these neon lights that are used for advertisements, those bright, bright light. Some of you have visited these entertainment rooms. Maybe you have seen them. When I talk about about entertainment rooms. I know you are young girls, but you could have visited at least either a dance hall room or whatever, or a birthday party where somebody used neon lights. Or a wedding, you know, those decorations and so on. Those kind of lights that give off different types, neon lights. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Mr. Sanjo. Yes, sir. From the chat, is is plasma a good conductor of electricity? Uh, Grace Amelia. Um, read. Grace Amelia, read, read Roman 2. Um, I'm highlighting Roman 2. Can she read and she answer her own question? Grace, may you put up your hands so that we can select you? I want to hear you read Roman 2. Yes, Grace Amelia, put up your hand. Grace, are you there? Okay, I think Grace has seen yeah. Roman too. We don't I've need seen her. Grace, you can speak. I've unmuted you. Unmute and speak.
Grace ala mkatari siliasi. Tumuleke ba nai. Tukenda kuna nachigude Gladys. Ok, nachigude Gladys. Unmute and submit. Um, teacher, um, I want to know, okay, what does it mean by it is affected by magnetic fields? That is the, okay. Anything that has electricity, when you place it in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. And when you have forces, forces can be used to do work. Anything that, that is electrically charged, when you combine it in an electric field, a force will be exerted, a force will be reproduced. And that force can be used for other purposes. But we say that is slightly beyond your scope. Okay? Okay, teacher. Yes, please. Mr. Sanjove. Uh, Cynthia, is a television an example of plasma or it just contains plasma? It uses a plasma screen. That screen part of it uses the technology of plasma. But not all televisions, by the way. These are new television that came on the market around something like 30 years back. Not all yes, television screens use plasma, but now most modern ones use that electric that LCD system. Mr. Sanjavi. Yes, well, uh, when you know how we gave fire as an example of plasma. Yes. And plasma has, because here in the Ghana, Queen Esther says, teacher, but in the properties of plasma, it says it is a conduct of electricity. Mm -hmm. So far, doesn't, so that, so that proper doesn't work for fire. Ah, you know, electricity is a very interesting component because electricity is moving charges. I hope you understand that. The moment you get charges into motion, that is electricity. It's magnitude. So we can say maybe, that's why I told you that, maybe electricity, I mean fire, conducts electricity. But I have never used it because by the time it becomes productive to me, it has burnt me. So I cannot list fire as being a conductor of electricity because it is not something we have ever used. It burns. I don't know that you can use a fire to, to, to conduct electricity. Okay, there's Alinda I don't, know, I don't know. You get something that is burning, and then you, you, you contain it somewhere, and then you start using it to conduct electricity. So I, I cannot explain that. I hope you, you, can, you people can help me. Okay, Mr. Sanjoy, there's uh, Alinda no. Martha. Uh, uh, Mr. Sanjoy. Yes. There's Alinda, Alinda mother says a light bulbs filled uh, uh, light bulbs filled with rare gases like argon considered to be plasma. Yes, neon is plasma. They have just read it in their whatever. That is yeah, one of the examples. And I'm, I'm yeah. giving them about lights, disco lights, uh, decoration things, and so on. They use that conductivity. Of yeah, she's talking about argon. Argon. Mr. Sanjo, yeah, she's argon, talking about argon. Argon is an inert gas. Gas, yes. each other purposes are different. Okay. Hey. Argon, in most cases, prevents most of those materials that are used to form melting and so on. It is more of a preservative than, rather than whatever it has, those, because of its inactivity, chemical inactivity. So it is used for different purposes. But I think. We are dwelling so much on things that are not yet. Okay, we know what plasma is all yeah. about. I know interest has been triggered, but uh, I don't think we are in position to answer most of those questions. I think I'll leave the guys since they are yeah. they have been triggered. Let them go and do more research. Let us proceed to the next level. Yes, okay, there's, there's one. Yes. Yes. Really That's an exciting thing. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I also wanted to say. That even if, we, okay, we have said it's true, we've said plasma conducts electricity, uh, we wouldn't use the fire really as a conductor of electricity because whatever you would put there would be wasted, fire would burn it. So, no, who would want to use a fire as a conductor of electricity because it will burn everything around it? So, even if it conducts electricity, it is not something that we can exploit as a conductor of electricity. We wouldn't be interested in that because it will spoil anything and that gets in contact with it. Mr. So, Chakone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Navitaka, yes, uh, yes, Navitaka in the chat says, teacher, according to Google, fire can conduct electricity. That's correct, that's what I've said. But yes. you normally, nobody would, I think, would want to use it because, I mean, it burns stuff. You put wires in there, you put a, maybe bulbs and what have you, it would just burn them. It is because it is part of plasma which conducts electricity. We expect it to conduct electricity as well, but it's, I don't think many people would want to use that as a, a conductor for electricity because mm. it, we know the, the, what the fire can do to things. Mm. Thank you. But she's right about that because yes, it is plasma, is which we have said conducts electricity. Mm? Uh, there's a question here that are there forms of uh, plasma, like forms of plasma, which exists as plasma? Mm. Plasma exists as plasma. Yeah. That's why we said it is a state. Okay. Because yeah. the girl says, how, how are the examples of forms yeah. of plasma mm. different from examples of plasma? I think, Mr. Sari, yes, different Mr. forms of plasma might be there, just like we have different types of solids. We have wood, we have stone, we have metal, we have what? Mm. So we have mm. people. All these are solids, but now in different forms. So even different forms of plasma can be there. Hmm? Okay. Mr. Um, Chakonye, just one more about lightning. Lightning is an example of in a plasma. form of plasma. Correct. While Correct. plasma screens are examples of plasma. The girl is trying to ask whether she's right about that. I don't think I understood that very well. Maybe Mr. Chakonye did. It's saying that lightning is an example of a form of plasma, while plasma screens are examples yes. of plasma. And okay. she's happy. Mm. I think the girl is, is confusing with an application with an estate. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Mm. The, the TV is why, what do we use plasma for? Having recognized that strong source of energy, as humans, we exploit nature and we use it for purposes. So a TV screen is an application. We capture that energy from plasma and use it for different purposes. It does not necessarily become plasma itself. It is a usage or it is an application. But the other one is a natural or existing state. And actually technology is trying to capture, some countries that are advanced are trying to capture energy from lightning. That is another science altogether. So she can, we could also explain, explain that. Can we use lightning as a source of energy? This is the research that we do because we know it now contains energy. So let us not confuse applications with naturally occurring states. Okay, one last one. Mm -hmm. Teacher, in which environment can we find plasma? Because the NCDC book is saying that we do not find natural occurring plasmas too often when we walk around. Aha. Uh -huh. And the NCDC book, if she reads further, has also stated where to find plasma. So where, where? She omitted the paragraph. Where is yes. plasma located? I think way, way, way up when you're introducing the states of matter. That's where we captured that. What is matter? Yeah. I think there was something about plasma. I want to, to see where that one is. States of matter. What is matter? Eh? Why did you capture that? I forgot it. I think they told about us, they, there was, was where they were talking about, the, especially in the atmosphere. I forgot to I'm saying yes. Yes, that is just I think before, around before, there. If she can before. read here, if she could read somewhere here, I think she will she will get it. Uh, it was captured somewhere. I don't remember. Mr. Chakoni, I think it is you who captured it. Yeah. Yeah, just before that picture there. Yes, just before the picture. Uh, yes. Just before that picture, that's where it is. Eh? But the uh, point here is that the sun, for example, huh? 
Yes. The sun is a huge example of plasma. Hmm. Okay. I hope we are okay, girls. They told us you can warm a solid, a solid will melt to a gas, I mean to a liquid. Then you warm a liquid, the liquid turns into a gas. Then you turn, a, you overheat a gas, it will turn into plasma. I think we read some things like that. I don't remember. Yes, we hey. read it. Mm. In the beginning, somewhere that went, and that, that, that so if, you could imagine plasma around the earth. It is an overheated gas. Now, would we be existing? I don't think so. So that's why we say it is not something that we find around the earth. I think for even our own safety. So God created it to be somewhere closer to the sun than to the human being. Because that's where the sun is our biggest source of energy. I hope we are ready to go on. If there are no more, uh, now I've raised more questions. Mr. Sari, two participants raised the hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me get to them. Uh, charity, charity, unmute and submit. So I just wanted to say that where we got that plasma is overheated gas, it was in the video that Mr. Chakonye played. Oh, oh I remember it was in the video. Yeah, thank you so much for reminding us. Okay. Uh, Eunice, unmute and submit. Uh, teacher, I just wanted to answer the, the question someone asked about that is light in the plasma, plasma screen. And basically, there, lightning uh, is plasma, and the plasma screen just uses the principle of plasma. Okay, okay. Yeah. thank you so much. Okay, you have really made us scratch our heads also. And any more questions? Uh, there are no hands, maybe in the chats. Okay, you, we, we have also seen plasma has been the most interesting state of matter. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone saying from the chat, there are also the polar lights caused by solar winds that is uh, a plasma. Mr. Sari, in the yes. few minutes we have, let us at least try to progress away from plasma. Okay. Arrangement of particles in different states of matter. I will select the lady to read for us and then we discuss. Adeke Faith. Adeke okay. Faith, I don't know that she's asking questions. She's really a very active person. So maybe we give her opportunity. Mama, now yes. these participants have raised their hands. Can you select can. anybody who has not read? Um, the, arrangement, the arrangement of particles in different sets of matter. The properties of substances depend on how the particles in these substances are arranged and how they are held together. To investigate the properties of solids, liquids, and gases, including their shape, pouring, and compressing, it is important to study the arrangement, the forces between the particles, and the movement of the particles. Then the next page, forces between particles. It is easier to run fast on land than it is to swim fast. Why is this? Particles are held together by forces. The forces holding water particles together are much stronger than the forces which hold air together. These, therefore, when you swim, you have to use more force to break the water particles apart. Then figure 3.4, arrangement of particles in solids, liquids, and gases. Particles okay. in solid. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. So one of the facts that has been brought out is that matter is made up of particles, isn't it? Yes. These particles are held together by forces. Agreed? Yes. OK. The forces differ from one state to another. I hope that has also been captured. Yes, it has. We experience the greatest forces of attraction of molecules in which state? 
in the solid state. Followed by? Liquid state and then gaseous state. And lastly? Gaseous state. There is another state, they've not talked about oh, it. Now plasma state. Plasma state, you have to include it in your now mind. Yeah? So these forces are strongest in solids, followed by liquids, followed by gaseous, and they are weakest most probably in plasma state. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Now, that makes it more difficult. So do, do these forces of attraction, do they contribute to anything about the characteristics of this matter? Before we go ahead, can you probe? Do they co contribute anything? If molecules are bound together by strong forces, do they contribute to the other characteristics of these states of matter? At Konda, Vanessa, Mayuris, and Mutant respond. Mwanguzi wako, include your stream. Yes, yes, teacher, they contribute. Uh -huh. So the strong forces contribute to what shape? Talk about solids. That's why um, solids, uh -huh. Like in solids, since the forces are, are strong and they hold the particles together, it has a definite shape. Definite shape, and therefore also, Another factor? Um, their, their volume is... Shape, uh -huh, beautiful. So the first strong forces of uh, attraction contribute to the definite shape in solids and the definite shape of their volume. Uh -huh. Can somebody contribute to the liquid state? What happens in the liquid state? Nakaliwa Yvonne and meet and submit. Um, teacher, like in the liquid state, mm -hmm. the, the forces that are holding the particles together, they are not as strong as those in the solids. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why like the, the liquids are able to, okay, like the particles are able to move around, but not to the extent of breaking free of the structure. Mm -hmm. So... So if they cannot break free of the structure, what, what becomes the fixed? Ca pardon? Since they cannot break free of the structure, what, what, be what becomes fixed and what changes? Um, uh, the volume is fixed, but they take the shape of the container. I hope you have heard ladies you have had, she has given us a very good example and a very good explanation. I don't think I can even do better. Now, gases, what do, happens as far as gases are concerned? Another participant, Mr. Sari, there are seven arm, arms up. Yes, uh, let's have, uh, um, I want to pick other people, but they don't have streams and I'm worried that they are renaming. Or... We are don't have a lot of time, so pick okay. those ones who are ready. Okay, Vivian, Sandra, and Mutant, submit. Um, teacher, for gases, so they are the forces that hold them that, that hold the particles is very weak. So the the particles of gases are able to spread as fast as fast as they can. So the volume will change. Uh -huh. And then what else? Um, and the shape will also change. They don't have a shape. They don't have a fixed shape. A is that okay? So that those are that's what happens when you have very strong binding forces. Your volume will be fixed. Your shape will be fixed. To the liquids, they will be able to flow. So they take the shape of the container, but the volume remains the same. It is fixed. For gases and plasma, it is a freedom. You do whatever you want. They move. They Spread in no fixed shape, no fixed. It is like you, you are in school and there are no school rules. That's the example I can give you. I hope you can identify with that. Don't tell me that you come to school and there are no school rules. Is that okay? Do we get that analogy? Girls, are we okay? Can we move to the next level? Eh, 
there are three people in the waiting room. What are those ones waiting for when we are about to get done? Jemima yeah, Enas. Four participants raised their hands. Mr. Sari, I don't know what their call is. Ah, I think let us spend time, the remaining two, okay. three minutes, answering okay. these okay. queries, and then we move on. Okay, Chirabo, Chirabo, Misha, unmute and submit. Okay, um, so when we're talking about the particles in solids, can you say that the more, sorry, can you say that the strong forces that bound the liquid that the, the tray that bound them solids together won't let them flow as a characteristic. Won't what? Solid. Can you say, okay, let me... Sorry. Rephrase that question. There are some words there. I, the English was too much for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, want to, I was asking, can you say that because you were talking about the the way like the the liquid solid and gases are held together can you say that the 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 strong forces that hold the solids together will not let them flow as a characteristic of solids okay it is an explanation of that characteristic we are trying to explain why solids behave the way they do Why do solids have a fixed volume and a fixed shape? It is because they are held by very strong molecular forces of attraction. Does that answer your question? It is an explanation of the behavior of why solids and gases and liquids behave the way they do. I don't know that I've answered that question properly. Can I get back to the girl so that I, I, I know whether I've answered it properly or not? Okay. Mr. Saifu was ready. Uh -huh. The girl uh, was... You can put up her arm and I think you will call the name. Yes, it was uh, Misha, Chirabo, and Mutant. Chirabo, I don't know whether I've answered your question. Yes, you have. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, good refused to include stream and okay. Now, little Kia unmute and submit. Um, excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Um, the on the first page that says that forces between particles, that mm -hmm. one above there, it says that somebody can move, can run faster on land than in and then swim faster in water. Mm -hmm. Um teacher, how how is it possible that you see someone who is very huge in size can can swim faster than than a person who is running on land? A person can swim faster in what? Can swim faster than a person um, land? Huh? Here, here it says that somebody can run faster on land then swim faster. Why, why is it that some, somebody can swim very fast in water than run on land? Is that, the st is that statement reading like that? I don't know, I have not read it. It is easier to run fast on land than it is to swim fast. Swimming takes place in liquids. Yes. Running takes place on land. You can yes. run faster than you can swim. Is that is is that true? For you, you swim faster than you run on land. It's not me. I even don't know how to run. So, me, my question is that I way round. That you are, you swim faster than a person. That someone, running. someone swims faster than a person. Can, than running. a person running. Yes. I don't think that is true. Somebody swims faster than he runs on land. I, you, I need assistance. Suppose you carry, do you know, I hope you know how to swim. I don't want to ask that question. You don't have to answer me. But if you come back to Gaza, try swimming in the pool and running on, the, on land, who will be faster? I think a person who is even in water or swimming, a person on land will even just walk. Isn't it? 
by the swimming, encouraging that person, faster, faster. But the other person is swimming and struggling. This one is simply walking. Isn't that the basic scenario we see in Gayaza, really? Girls, help me answer that question. At Kunda Vanessa, unmute and submit. I want an answer. Who uh, swims faster than she runs? Uh, teacher, let me explain to her. Like, okay, maybe the person may swim a, a, a bit faster, but they are using a lot of force trying to like break the 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 forces and yet a person can maybe not run faster but they are using so much ease so yeah okay we find a lot of ease walking thank you so much for that contribution i think it is easier to walk in air freely than in swimming i think that is what happens to most of us i don't know excuse me teacher yes um i wanted to also ask uh, about plasma like you said plasma like the the particles move freely but yeah. and how come like the sun the sun is like in it's like circular it's has a shape it's circular and yet it's plasma how how comes oh. terrible now mr chakon you help me <laughs> A sun uh, is, uh, 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 I don't know, let me just give you an example of a fire. For example, you have a fire in where? Where do we have these natural occurring fires? In the, in the kitchen. I, would, I, I think you can imagine that situation. Can you imagine that situation where you have a fire somewhere? Because these are naturally suspended bodies in space, uh, by other forces, which I don't want to talk about, but I think most of them, one of them, of the forces that keeps we are planets in, in space is the force of gravity, uh, they are held there. However, the surface of the sun or oh, its internal system is such that it, is, it was made a hot body. I cannot go deep down into that physics, but it is always, its surfaces and so on is considered to be always existing, having those very, very hot, flames of fire and that is be becomes our biggest source of energy so it is a body suspended in space producing a lot of heat and that heat is a source is okay out of uh, uh, one of the states there is plasma i don't know it is like suspending a, a hot piece of charcoal in space that's how the sun is mr sanjave yes sir there was also a question that the blood plasma I is... What to say, no, I don't know whether we have answered that lady's question. I need I, some help here because I think it is going to be the last question. How come the sun does not flow? Yeah. This is a challenge of teaching now. The sun is not flowing. It is a gas. Uh-huh. Mr. Sally, can't you contribute to that body? Uh, the yeah, sun is... Uh, it the is sun a is, planet. Uh -huh. It's spherical in nature. And what makes up that there are those uh, nuclear reactions that take place in. And the reactions that take place in its nature, it is a spherical in nature. But then inside it, the reactions that take place are the ones that make it radiate. So the plasma, I believe, is the makeup inside but it has its shape that was given to it, which is the spherical shape that we see. But then the reactions that take place in, I believe are the ones that constitute what we call the plasma. Okay. So that's how I can uh, approach that. But it, we shall do more research about that, okay? Yes, we shall do more research okay. and share that. There was one okay. more, which was from Nakamia. She was saying that, is blood plasma the same as the plasma we are talking Let about? <laughs> Let uh, no, no, no. Plasma has been borrowed in biology or whatever subject. But this plasma is a state of matter. It is not the same plasma we are talking about in black biology. Mark, I you. believe we have answered you. OK. It's already seven minutes past. Mr. Sanjo, do you still have a lot of time?
No, we close the lesson, but uh, okay, down. We'll see your questions in the Google classroom on the next lesson next week. Mm -hmm.